Okay, in this presentation, I'm in the base version of R, and what you might see there in front of you is a little map of Ireland, and it is the administrative units of Ireland, uh, or like the tr traditional administrative units of Ireland in the tw uh, 26 counties in the Republic of Ireland. Okay, now essentially what we want to do here is quickly and efficiently present something like that. What you can do after the fact is actually colour it in according to some sort of uh, demographic feature or add points to it depending on something but essentially this is the fundamental object which you will build from. This is the canvas that you will paint on. So what I'm going to do here first off is I'm going to call the SF library okay so I have this installed in the background and this is simple features and this is actually how we would work with tidy tidy GIS essentially okay now there's a big thing I have to do first okay and what we have to do here is uh, I want to use a thing called geom SF okay to actually make that map but it's not uh, on the CRAN at the moment that's to say it's not part of the current installation of ggplot okay so what I have to do is go and get the development version okay this might change actually this bit might be become unnecessary but actually it's sort of just how to actually get the development version of ggplot you might need this for other reasons okay so a little bit of a first off actually I just found actually that it actually it was a real pain to get it to work uh, uh, altogether so actually what happened is I actually just updated to the next version of R to do this uh, just particularly for this, okay, which it might be a bit overkill, but like really you should be updating your version of R fairly regularly, okay. So what I had in the background first off is I had a thing called, um, let's bring this into shot here, essentially what I had running in the background is something called R tools, okay, and R tools is, is it's not actually a package. It's a sort of um, an AEXE file that you download and just run. And it's so that you can use the dev tools, um, the dev tool packages properly. Okay. Now, what I'm also going to do here is actually go and get myself a shape file. So I'll just talk about that now in a, in a moment. But how to actually get a shape file. I'll just get that out of shot here so they're not too cluttered. So first off, what I'm going to do here is, so I have R tools, okay, and I also set up dev tools, okay. So what I'm going to do here now is uh, dev tools install uh, GitHub uh, tidyverse Uh, ggplot2. I'll actually just double check that against a pre-prepared script but you do something like that. Uh, I'll actually just pause it here in a second and just make sure I have the uh, right bit of code there. Yep sorry looks good so that I'm not going to run that now because I actually have it done already and it just actually so I'm just going to comment that out so that would run okay so what should happen then is I would just call the ggplot library okay now what is here is the the development version so this is a, a little bit adva uh, more advanced than what is on CRAN okay now so I want to just double check actually do I have a what I need here so what I'm going to do here is quickly use this line of code here this actually just tells me what objects I have available to me okay through uh, using the ggplot. Now there's a loads on there, so I'll just actually just give you a quick taster of it. Give the first 20, okay. And this is all the functionality added to R by the ggplot, all these sort of um, objects and so on. Now if we were to read through it there, we would find we would have geom sf. So it's in there somewhere, okay. So that means I can use Jom SF. Okay, so that's good. I can use Jom SF now. What I need now is actual an actual an actual shape file. Okay, 
So I'm just going to bring this back into shot again. So I have to sort of scout around the internet and find a, a shape file to work with. Okay, now this is a great website, diva-gis.org. My compliments to the people um, who organize this or run it. Okay, so we provide free, free spatial data. Okay, that's what I want. Okay, country level data. Okay, I'll work with that. Administrative boundaries. Okay, so I'm in Ireland, so I'll just click it. Well, that's what I was going to show you earlier on. And I want administrative areas. Click OK. That seems good. Okay, so it brings me here so to download some zip file. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I just sort of I'm going to save the link address, copy the link address. I've just then done that out of shot. I'll just do that again quickly so you can see what I just done there. So I am going to copy the link address. Great, okay. So I'm just going to say that is my. Uh, zip file something like that put it in bracket uh, quotation marks okay okay so now I'm, um, that's just sort of ready to uh, be downloaded so the command I'm going to use here is download file uh, my zip file okay I have to just name a destination so dest file equals counties dot zip something like that okay now I'm not going to do it this time uh, but just something like that will be able to download a zip file like that okay for you from the internet some sort of approach like that okay I'm just going to pause actually just to make sure I have the right code there because I'm not going to run it but I don't want to put up the wrong code either no, nope, looks good. Okay, so what I'm going to do here now is unzip that. Unzip. Um, counties. Dot zip. Okay, and I run that. Now again, this this is common to doubt because I don't want to rerun it. It's just like it could be very heavy going. Okay, on my computer while I'm trying to make a film. So just actually check my current working directory so what should happen here is the counties get the uh, file gets uh, downloaded okay and when I unzip it I get all this geographical data here okay brilliant okay so I'm now ready to import one of these so if you just mess around uh, with this actually sorry it's this one here is is that you would be able to You'd sort of it, SHP means the shape file. Okay, that's essentially the map. Okay, so if you're sort of uh, admin zero means just the uh, the Republic of Ireland. Uh, admin one is the Republic of Ireland with all the counties. Okay, by trial and error you'd find out which one you want. Okay, so what I'm going to do is import that. Okay, and I'm going to call it counties my my file. Uh, SF is the package read in as an sf the name of this file which is arl underscore oops let's run that again oh, i just have a copy and paste it in here okay and let's have a look at counties what sort of object this is now this is actually quite interesting this is where uh, the the the, uh, the emphasis on tidyverse comes into play so you just might notice here if you're in, familiar with tidyverse that this is a table a tidy table essentially okay it is 26 rows and 10 columns okay and the last column so there's all of the some sort of metadata right up at the top okay now right down the bottom the last column is very interesting i'm not going to actually do it here but essentially it's a it's a sort of each it's the geometries of each of these 26 counties okay so um brilliant okay so we're ready to make a little map now so ggplot counties okay and uh, plus geom 
SF. And let's give that a look. There we have it there. Okay, that's that's I'll actually just switch that off just so you I convince you that I'm doing it. There we go. Sorry, it just came up there again. Brilliant. Now you can do other things beyond that, like chloroplats or put in little cities or something like that. Uh if you want to put in rivers, that's a totally different kettle of fish. But there you go. Okay. Shape files.